Hey, it's your boy Buzzer, and welcome back to another episode of Buzzcraft Survival. So, in today's episode, is I'm going to be ending the season one of Buzzcraft Survival. So, if you are a fan of me, like you're an early subscriber, so you know, you know that I am playing um, survival before I upload some bunch of hype videos, and I'm really thankful to those who support me on this series. Like, I'm gonna shout out like. I remember Liverpool, that one guy only I remember. And in today's episode is I'm going to be world tour. I'm going to tour you to my world, what I have done or what some, what kind of progress I've made. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. The first episode in my Barker Survival is like in my episode 1 and 2, I was like restarted like it's this is not really the world of my episode one and two because of the updates because in when update when i updated my minecraft into 1.16.100 it just so much lag like i have i have very very lag problems and when it hits 1.16.201 and it's like very smooth like the margin fix the lag you know and then I recreated I recreated my you know I started a new world and then make a new hobbit hole base because in my episode one and two is it is just a hobbit hole base but I think my first base my first hobbit hole base was like more complex like there's a super smelter in that um, some storage system like I really like that one but i was you know i was decided to make a new world and i i didn't you know start at the f as um i didn't start at the beginning i just put it in the thumbnail that it is episode three even though i restarted so so this is like so we're gonna jump into the episode three so this is the episode three i've done and this is this, you know, uh, like a starter base, and I have done some, you know, progress, and I haven't, I haven't beaten the dragon yet, and also in the episode three, I've, you know, built the iron farm. So let's go. So I have done the iron farm right here. So this is the iron farm that I've made in episode 3 because I already learned that when you're early game in survival the best um, the most important is the iron because iron has many uses so in my opinion I, I think iron is more useful than you know diamonds I can't remember what I've done after that so I think I'm really gonna go back right there. So I think I'm gonna know. Um, I'm gonna throw back like one by one. What is the different episode? <laughs> I'm just you know going back and forth, and I'm really sorry for you know some. If you notice that something like I'm I stop like I'm not really good at it at English. Like it's very obvious, right? So just consider that and also like this is my like factory thing like when you call it in filipino it's like fabrica you know like this is the bamboo farm i made and this is the uh, super smelter and the sugarcane farm like that so then i've i've re i have remaining items right here and I think let's go to sleep. All right, so so my previous episode was I just did I just did this in a full time lapse episode and I have so many feedback to you guys that you know you like you like more time lapses you know because time lapse is very cool i i know that and 
actually when I when I make time lapse it's really hard to make because you know I need I need one more device to record and one of my devices that I use when I re recording some time lapse is the LCD broke and there is an there is like a black I don't know what you're gonna call that <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm so bad at English like yo I can't <laughs> just never mind so yeah this is my storage system and so far this is my biggest my biggest storage system that I've made in a legit survival so if you think that I am cheating like yo I'm not cheating but in this world in this my survival the achievements are turned off because of some reason like I really want to add some chunk chunk loader right here so if I activated that it will disable the achievements and also the one player sleep Adam in from Foxy Hotel and when I activated that I just it just you know disable the achievements and I can get the achievements and I don't really care about achievement because nah it was just an achievement but I know to myself that I am legit survivalist like you know I didn't cheat at all you know give at, at, at self item and this is my trading hall and this is also one of my best builds so far I it's not so far like yo it's very cool like I've really done some more de more details right here look at that bro look at that and if you notice of some of my builds that I am not really quite finishing the interiors of every of my build because you know interiors is very very hard to do and I'm so lazy and I was bad at I was bad at making <laughs> interiors like yo I'm not a builder when I was before like I was not um, playing PvP or some kind of hive and I was like a touch control before I I am a redstone person that's why my 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 outfit and my skin is like inspired by mumbo jumbo but I'm I am not imitating mumbo jumbo like you know he's 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 more he's more good and more professional in redstone and so so as you can see it's very obvious that this is a trading hall you know what I'm, I'm really sorry guys I talk a lot yeah I talk a lot even though I am I am a man you know and I didn't I don't really care what people others say so we are here now at the industrial district and to be honest guys I am really really disappointed to myself because when I'm making this kind of area like this is this is not planned at all this is this is this is not planned like I like I just tell to myself in the early episode like episode 3 like you know yeah this is a plain place I want to build a, uh, a, so a sort of iron farm right here I'm gonna build something like that and when I saw when I saw mumbo jumbos industrial districts like I was I was I was like oh I, I want to build like that industrial district but but when I go to my world like you know it's it's already messed up like if I if I rebuild this thing like you know destroy it and rebuild like it's gonna it's gonna spend a lot of time like it it really needs a time investment so I don't want to do that you know it's too it's too much time consuming so yeah it's really it's really my regret so I built some sort of like sheep farm because I really want to do some um, to get some bunch of bed for netherrack mining because you know it's really more convenient than TNT I guess but in efficiency you know TNT is more more better but you know in resources and you know it is the bed is more better but kind of dangerous I think 
and also this is my um my what are you gonna call this i don't know I've, i forgot this is a gold farm so this is a gold farm and, and there's so many chests right here and look at that boys look at that there's so many nuggets right here like yo <laughs> i think because of the because the farm runs too fast like the hoppers can keep up so that there is some kind of you know some golds right here like that you know oh that's a lot of gold ingots oh and also right here every chest is filled but not full yo that's a lot of items And also my mistake that um, I should not I should not throw the swords. I just I should want to make uh, like a blast furnace right here, and then when all the swords are coming right here, like it's gonna you know smelt and turn into gold nuggets, which you know adds more efficiency to the farm. And also what what else did i have done in this world um i think the crop farm yes the crop farm so in the past you know the past episodes like this is not really the the this is not really the what are you gonna call this the crop farm like there is some kind of tree tree houses like it i i mean there's like a tree houses right here and I really spent time of building that because I, I make it more like a medieval style but the farm is always broken like it is my own design like I just made it without tutorial and it just broke like you know I always fix it but you know I ended up like go to YouTube and find some you know tutorial what is the best crop farm in bedrock edition like that and the best crop farm that i you know the best tutorial that i find is like silent whisper so you know i don't want to talk a lot <laughs> like you know, yo like yo let's proceed let's proceed oh oh i nearly forgot i really want to show you guys my first first mining area like yo <laughs> Do, like yo do you need to show the like do you need to show your mining area it's not really kind of necessary but you know it's it's my youtube channel so no one's no one's gonna no one's gonna, no one's gonna judge me so this is my mining area and i haven't placed some beacons right here because um i've put some beacon mine near on my industrial district and yeah it's really quite cool as well and you know this is my strip mining area right here and yeah it's cool so let's get back into the surface so all right if you're still watching right here in this part if you are watching till in this part please comment down below because I, I wanna I wanna see like who's who's the person who really watch my video at the end the full length of the video like yo if you if you made it here just just comment pog just comment pog I made it here like yo like yo that's that's mean a lot to me even though you just said pog and I made I made it here I made it here so if you're gonna ask like buzz have you done some any you know sort of nether hub or farm in the nether well i'm gonna s tell you that i haven't i haven't done some anything else in the n in the nether because of the lag <laughs> so we are here now at the nether and actually i I want to show you something guys that you know it's my friend's base and you know I have 
this is all just my progress uh, this is my nether hub like one portal and another portal right here oh that's a magma block i thought it's did you see that it just so much slow motion like yo the heat cooled down i the heat cooled down like did you see that it's like so much slow motion like i dropped this item yo like yo look at that like it it, it repeat itself that's why i really want to start again even though i have so much progress in this but how can you enjoy playing in this world if you have problem like that like yo we don't we don't want we don't want that kind of lag my fps is good but the game is just so much delay very very slow and i don't want to i i don't want to talk about that and also if you watch my wither fight you know what i mean <laughs> like i like i easily kill the wither because of the lag of the game like everything is just slow motion and i can easily dodge the the wither like when he when the wither trying to hit me from his like skulls that he that he fires so this is my friend's base so this is wool python's base like he just started a while ago and he's not really kind of active on playing because he just he just play when i play because we we are just neighbors like yo we're 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 best friend so this is his mine oh he's actually grinding oh pog it's i'm gonna give him a pog yo look at that so i think guys that is all what i've got <laughs> and you know it's it's not really quite big progress in this world like i've made some bunch of um projects but it's not really that much too far so i think so i think i'm gonna end this episode final episode and yeah i hope you have enjoyed today's episode and if you did Make sure you subscribe, do me a quick favor by clicking it, and lastly, smash that like button so that the YouTube algorithm will bless me. And so, if you're new here, just, just subscribe, dude. It's, it's too easy to subscribe. If the subscribe button is still red, do me a quick favor by making it gray so that, so that, so that it's, it's, poggers so anyways see you in the s season 2 on buzzgrove survival have a great day everyone bye